All right, good morning. It is Thursday, June 23rd. It's just after 6 a.m. I am heading out for Arizona. I am going to today try to make it to Oklahoma or near Oklahoma. Um, looks like it's probably about a nine hour drive. I've been making a few stops, so it's probably gonna be, you know, 10 or 11 hours out on the road. See how it goes. If I do okay, I might make it to Miami, Oklahoma. If it gets to be a long day, I may cut it off at Joplin or somewhere near there, um, which is not that big of a difference. Springfield would be the kind of the shortest scenario. Miami is the best scenario. All right, I'll get going here. Now it's 300 miles to St. Louis and then another 300 miles to Miami. So we'll see where we're at when uh, we get to St. Louis. Be uh, following quite a few train routes. So hopefully we'll catch a few trains on the move on the way down at least between here and st louis west of st louis there's not as much until we get down into oklahoma all right so let's uh, enjoy the adventure all right we're in Mason, illinois I had to take a little detour off 55 because of bridge work at the kankakee this is where the santa fe chicago kansas city main line crosses Mason, Illinois. Mason. Right, last time I crossed some tracks up in. Oh, there's the depot. There you go. Obviously, that's a, probably a signal maintainer building now. Alright, uh, just a quick drive through Mason. Alright, we are coming into normal, and there is a northbound stack train on the C UP. First train of the trip. UP stack train coming north in normal. Through north. Alright, there was just the northbound local that goes down to like Lincoln, between Lincoln and Bloomington. It is about 9, 8, 8 to 20, and we're coming into the McLean area. So. Second train of the trip. Alright, we got a northbound Amtrak, one of the Lincoln service trains. There we go. We are a little bit south of Lincoln. It is the 23rd of June and it is about 9.45. Third train of the trip. Alright, we're in Springfield, Illinois. And we're going to come up to the interchange with Illinois 54, which used to be, used to be US 54 to Chicago. Now they cut it back to Pittsfield, Illinois, which is in the western part of the state. But this is where they used to come through on US 54. I bring this up because we will be on US 54 in a couple days out in New Mexico. So... US 54, now Illinois 54, Springfield, Illinois. Alright, I took a little detour off of 55, um, trying to avoid some road work. Doesn't look like there was a lot of congestion because of the road work, but I am now on, I would believe this is old 66, and I'm coming into uh, the Litchfield area, and three lines kind of lined up here. Right up ahead here is where the Illinois Central line between Springfield and St. Louis came in. And off to your left there is the, now what is now Norfolk Southern, which used to be the Wabash line um, between Decatur and St. Louis. It's somewhere right in here. Um, they merged, I believe. There was a, they came together. Oh, oh here's the bridge for it. So, um, so you got the old highway going underneath it, you got the new interstate going above it, and that's the old line for the Illinois Central up to Springfield, which has been abandoned for many, many years. Uh, after the ICG, the Illinois Central Golf merger, it wound up utilizing the line um, through Carlinville, south of Springfield. And now the line north of Springfield on this, what is now the CN, is really just a, a local line, you know, through traffic on it. Coming up here is the B 
BNSF line that runs from up by Galesburg down to um, Paducah, Kentucky through Centralia. This is an overpass and that line also comes into town. It's coming into town right there. This is uh, Litchfield, Illinois, a couple railroad sites. Alright, we probably just lost our good view of St. Louis. I was taking some pictures, but we're uh, across the river in Illinois. 